Look like Chewbacca from Star Wars. Chewbacca? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you have so much to learn. What are you talking about? No, 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 the, the stupid, not the stupid arrow. Not the yeah. one that speaks a different Baba language. Baba Binks? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Baba Jar Jar Binks. Binks? Baba Winks. Oh, yeah, he's a travesty. That's a travesty. What's a travesty? That was terrible. We'll probably end up doing that. Okay. And then there, I don't know if that's lined up though. Oh, is that what your guys are doing? Yeah. Oh, that's smart. I'm so excited to use your driveway you made. This is why you intended it. You're not worried about this stuff, right? Because you're going to drive real slow. We don't have to strap it back down. Page is inside, and I need help taking all this stuff inside and this good stuff. So I want to roast. Is he backing up? He's gonna. Is he backing up? No, he's gonna go around. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! All that in inside, but I can't do it without you opening the door. Blinded by the light. <laughs>
Hi. You May I help side? you? Yeah. So, explain to me how this how this works. I almost brought the box knife too. I should have brought the box knife, huh? Yeah, probably. I had it in my mitt. So how how does this work? It reflects radiant heat. Okay. Okay. So, uh, if there's any heat that's output in here, then it will reflect it back in back towards the. the okay. Room. So does that mean like um. Chickens and their natural just body heat coming off? I think it has to be like a thermal radiation. Like a propane heater or oil heater or okay. a heat lamp or but something. Like, like supplemental that. heat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well I'm curious now, so we should this winter we should set up a a thermometer in both that coop and then this one. Because they'll be well, I guess we won't have the deep litter going. There'll be no chickens in there. Yeah, it did. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, overlap this guy like an inch. Okay. Do you want me to head inside, inside underneath here and help? Uh, yeah, I think I might need it on this, please. Yeah, I don't want to have to climb under here. <laughs> Let's just have it all enclosed. <laughs> this is lower than the other one. Ooh, this is right. Yeah, I know. You can't look at it. Does that look good? Sure. It's going to be covered by OSB. All right. I looked over and there's different OSB, it's just a little bit thinner and it was a uh, dollar cheaper. That's okay, I feel like this is borderline anyways. Yeah, I do too. Let's set it up. Uh, let me come around. I don't really drag it over this. Yeah, I don't either. I'm gonna lay the other ones down too and get them in place. Sound good? Sure. Got a bullet. Got a bullet.
coming up, coming out very well. That one's good. Well, there. Yeah. There Line yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, the line probably works professionally, but. Now uh, nail her down. Yeah, you want to do it? Sure. I got to turn on the generator. I got to turn on the generator. I plugged it, I plugged it yeah. in. I did too. All right, I saw it was plugged in. And I'm like, yeah. okay, we're good. Magic. I'm going to transfer the magic from here over to that thing. Sounds good. Did you fill this up the whole way last time? Yeah. Okay, cool. Be fun. Okay. I'm used to our, you know, long, oh, I can't wait to do our outdoor kitchen. We've been working for the better part of the day. We got a lot done for us. Uh, we got the flooring put up on this. So we got the foundation done and the yeah. floor done. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll start putting up some walls tomorrow. Yeah. I can't believe this weather. It's, it's beautiful out and we had a lot of rain recently. So this is a nice, beautiful day. It's gonna rain tomorrow. So we'll be doing the wall in the rain but you know we're we're used to that if you've seen any of our other videos you know yep. we're pros at doing that so um yeah i'm excited to get this project going we have uh some baby chicks hatching out in a few days and so our goal is to kind of get this up and going so by the time we transition them before we have to transition them into the big stock tank that we've been doing at like a week right when they're a week old yeah that at that week time, we'll have this done and just transition them into here because we're, we're going to have partitions in this, so. Yeah. This chicken coop's going to be a bigger chicken coop. It's going to be about 12 feet by 16 feet. Uh, it'll have a little area in there for chicks and pullets that we hatch inside. Mm-hmm. And there'll be areas for the hens to actually naturally hatch, which is what we'd prefer. Yes. But yes. they don't go broody when you want them to go broody. <laughs> So yeah, I think I think you can force it somehow, or you can get them to go broody. I think with by leaving eggs out, but we haven't done that. We did. We tried it. We tried. I don't know. Yeah. How, I don't know how many eggs you need. 
and how for how long you need to leave them out. We tried and it did not work this time. We yeah. got some good breeds though that are really known for their um, broodiness. Um, we got some Icelandics which are really good up here in the north. Um, so we're hoping though they're still pullet size. So we're hoping by the time next year they'll be going broody and they'll hatch out their own so we don't necessarily have to run the incubator. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. Yep. But this has been fun. It has been fun today. Uh, we like building stuff. But now we're going to cook up some brats and some steaks. Yeah. And we're going to have a little grill out here. Yes. Enjoy this weather. Have a great day. There we go. Look at that. Chicken coop slash kitchen. you anymore. You do. I got a little uh, tray of fruits and vegetables. I know. It's a bread knife. Yep. See that? See how it's like boom, 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 boom. Right. burnt tip bratwurst? Yeah. Mm. I got them on sale too. I'm gonna split this up. But... Yeah. Oh.